A group of atheists files a lawsuit challenging a tax law allowing churches to provide clergy the same housing benefits that are available to nonprofits and businesses. Critics of the lawsuit say it would amount to discrimination against pastors and faith leaders. Hannah Smith, senior counsel with the Beckett Fund for Religious Liberty, joins us. Hannah, welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Lauren. The parsonage allowance is this 60-year-old provision in the tax code letting churches provide this tax-exempt housing assistance so ministers can live near their congregations. Why is it being challenged now? Well, you know, the Freedom From Religion Foundation is an atheist group in Wisconsin, and they basically go around the country trying to find things that are religious that they find problematic, that they can challenge in the courts of law. And so they've decided that they're going to challenge the parsonage allowance and get it struck down. Well, you filed a response on behalf of Ed Peacher, who is a Chicago pastor, and then there were other faith leaders who joined on. What do you see as the most compelling part of your argument? Well, you know, we've asked the court to allow us to intervene in this lawsuit because we think it's really important that the court not make a decision on this important provision without hearing from the ministers and faith leaders who actually utilize the parsonage allowance. These are really impressive faith leaders who engage in community outreach and compelling community um, programs like Bishop Ed Peacher, who you know founded the Chicago Peace Campaign back in 2009. Uh, and he stands on the street corners uh, in the summer in the most dangerous, violent neighborhoods of the south side of Chicago. And he ministers to these gang members and, and he tries to bring peace. And so he gets a house, housing allowance. Should he be stripped of that housing allowance? No, that's ridiculous. That would be discrimination, especially when there are all of these other secular employees that get similar tax treatment on their housing allowances. Are there certain district or circuit courts that are more likely to be receptive to your, your lawsuit? Well, you know, the Freedom From Religion Foundation is in Madison, Wisconsin. So they bring a lot of these lawsuits in the federal district court in the Western District of Wisconsin, which is where we are in this lawsuit. But they have traveled around the country filing lawsuits in many different uh, federal district courts. And, and we have gone up against them before in other cases, and, and we have prevailed in many different courts around the country. So are you, are you going to, do you think it'll make it to a higher court? Uh, you know, if the district court were to strike down the parsonage allowance, which we don't think that they should, but if they do, then it could be appealed up to the Seventh Circuit. And on appeal, we would also participate Continue at that level fight. as well. Now, while this is happening, does Pastor Peacher still get his housing allowance? Yes. All of the ministers can continue to get their housing allowance. Uh, what Freedom From Religion Foundation wants to do is basically penalize uh, these ministers by making them uh, be treated differently from all of the other secular employees who also get housing allowances that are not taxable. Hannah Smith, thank you so much for stopping by. Your senior counsel with the Beckett Fund for Religious Liberty. Thank you.